Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today we are working on a stuck caliper pin, a, a caliper pin that will not come out. Um, you have a couple different options when you do this. Right here, I'm taking a cold chisel and banging against the uh, banging against the back side of the bolt that won't come out. Um, actually, heated it up. I didn't show you that, but I did heat it up a little bit with a uh, propane torch and just trying to get it to. Uh, move a little bit but this bolt this caliper pin would not budge at all man what a hassle so you try to do a simple job and something always creeps up and bites you in the ass right so um I, it's a 17 millimeter bolt i had already stripped it out um the bolt head just trying to get it loose and smacking a hammer against it so right here I have some vice grips that I'm using I'm grabbing it on the outside um, basically the outside head um, the lip the ridge and seeing if it'll break loose using the hammer but what's happening is it's just rotating it's not it's it's on the bolt but as I hit it it just you know scrapes its teeth along the metal and mars the metal so then I go between the bolt head and the uh, brake caliper bracket, put the, the vice grips there, and then I'm tapping it out, kind of like what I was doing with the chisel, and uh, see if I can get it to move. I just need it to move a little bit. If I can get it to move, if you, if you can get your caliper pin to move just a little bit, you know, a hair, then you have hope. This would not budge at all. Nothing. Nothing. I'd even been soaking this thing for about 24 hours in uh, penetrating oil. Didn't do a thing. I should have done my trusty trick with a 50% acetone and 50% ATF. I'll put a link in the description below where I show you how to break bolts and tools for that stuff instead of using penetrating oil. One of the best um, one of the best ways I've found to break lo bolts loose is 50% uh, is acetone, 50% ATF. So right here, I'm just taking the torch again, and getting up the uh, getting the um, brake caliper bracket super super hot. You can see it's it's smoking there on the left. Um, it's either melting the rubber, or it's you know burning off the penetrating oil I've put on there. Just sped it up so you don't have to see that. But uh, it was probably about a minute, minute and a half that I left the uh, the heat on. So once again, I'm trying to get a chisel behind it to 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 get it to move out. Like I said earlier, if you if you if you have any kind of movement at all, you have hope. I had no hope, no hope at all. I was dying here, dying. This is supposed to be a simple brake job on a Honda. But this will work for any maker model vehicle. Getting this getting the calipers light pins out. And this is why you don't use axle grease on caliper slide pins. Only use a designated grease caliper slide pin grease um, I've the best one I've found so far is Napa Silla Glide um, very easy to use I had no issues with it and uh, stays crunchy in milk for years to come but always 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 grease your caliper slide pins so you guys can avoid problems like this I hate it when I see guys at shops will um, do a pad slap where they don't even change out the rotors they just put in new pads they push back the piston, but they don't take the time to take out the caliper slide pins and, you know, clean off the old grease with some brake cleaner and then add some new stuff in. And there's also, if there's a rubber, like a rubber seal on your caliper slide pin um, that goes around the pin itself, I just rip those off because over time they just swell up and cause this issue as well. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below where I do that. I just ripped off the boot um, there. If you can replace the boot, um, it's not 100% needed, but uh, it does keep you know salt and dust and dirt road debris out of the uh, pin. So I'm having no love with this caliper slide pin. Just a stuck brake brake slide pin. What a frustrating day. This is supposed to be super easy too. 
and it ended up being a pain in the ace in the ace i don't know if you guys want to watch this whole thing you can jump a little bit ahead um to around six minutes six minutes 20 seconds and um i put another video in here all right so i tried everything to get this thing out i heated it up took vice grips to it i even bent it trying to pound it out with a trying to pound it out with a uh, screwdriver you can see it's bent right there so in the end i'm gonna have to replace this thing Acura wanted like 400 bucks for it but i just drove up to AutoZone, and they have one and i get the bracket the pins the boots because sometimes you just can't get it out if i if you can't get a bracket then i would have um gone to my buddy's shop and used the oxycetylene torch and um he had this superheated this up and tried to work this out and stripped out the head and I guess last resort you could try cutting this off and then drilling it out that's your last last resort but I don't have time to mess around with it so I'm just going to replace the bracket and be done with it so there you go okay what we have here is a stuck caliper pin on a 2002 Nissan Altima 2.5 S you notice caliper pin up on the top comes out easy no problem but this one here somehow just I guess through heat or not being does not move does not budge what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a three-quarter inch washer three-quarter inch galvanized coupling two three-eighths washers and the original bolt from the caliper pin and we're going to set it up so that we can try to extract it by simply cranking it with a ratchet now I've got extra washers in case this doesn't pull it out enough we just keep working its way out hard to keep the camera steady and crank the ratchet at the same time but all right now I'm going to give a little check we moved it out about another eighth of an inch so I'm going to add another three quarter inch washer on the inside this is all about six dollars worth of parts from Home Depot Okay, I backed it off and added another three quarter inch and three more three eighths inch washers. It's coming. It's going to be. Just got to keep working to back it out. You see the whole thing starting to move, so we're pretty much at the end. And there you go. Caliper pin has been removed, extracted. Well, here's the bad caliper pin. And here are the, my $6 worth the parts for my caliper pin extraction tool you've got three quarter inch galvanized washers a three quarter inch galvanized coupling and a bunch of three eighths inch washers use the bolt that comes with the caliper pin and uh, able to remove it there's a picture of the uh, old caliper with a slide pin stuck in it and there's a picture of the new bracket Here's a link to uh, a video I did for uh, Harbor Freight 3-inch spotlights. Awesome little lights if you're on the fence about it. But if you guys can, please uh, subscribe to Bundy's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter or visit my website, bundysgarage.com. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.